from a, a almost a, a lay person understanding, is it fair to say that that it's as if the a type A police chief and a type C police chief are two yeah. distinct positions based upon the knowledge and skills and abilities that each is required to possess. Exactly. And that's why you have the two different exams. It would be like making an appointment to a any title from the wrong list. Correct. Okay. And that the list use has not fully assessed the merit and fitness of of the candidate for the position he or she is going to fill. Correct. That's the concern. Um, to just elaborate a bit, the type A department, that's the small department. Right. Okay. To be classified as a type A department, that typically consists of 10 or fewer total police officers. Which I would think we have many, many of them yes, in the state. Yes, we do. Yes, we have an enormous number of those. Right. Uh, and in a type A, the organizational structure generally does not contain more than three full-time supervisory positions. Mm -hmm. Okay? Between the chief and the officer level. The underlying assumption that is made is that the chief of a type A department, in addition to administering the department, either performs patrol functions uh, on a regular basis and or must regularly act as a first-line supervisor of patrol officers, sort of like a sergeant, mm -hmm. except they also have to administer the department. Right. For, for, a, for a small for a type a, mm -hmm. for a type A department, right. yes. For a type C department, that typically consists of more than 50 full-time police officer positions. Its organizational structure will usually have at least two supervisory levels between the chief and the officer level that each have four or more full-time positions. Okay. So very different structures. Very, very different structures, yes. And do we have any cities in New York State where the police chief position or the, the the police agency is not a type C? Yes, some of them are type A's. Cities? Oh, I'm sorry, city, I, that I don't know. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. But, but we know that. Do you know off the top, like Albany, Buffalo, Rochester, the other big cities? Those, would be, those are large ones. Yeah, so they, they're all so type they, C. They would, be, well. uh, they would be the, the type uh, C, okay. the larger level ones. Okay. How large is the staff in a city of York? Um, the information we have, it, it's in the report that, uh, that was done, um, one of the appendices in the report. Uh, okay. 186. Okay, they have 186 total, uh, including 144 police officers, um, 27 sergeants, 8 lieutenants, 4 captains, 2 deputy chiefs, and then the chief. Gotcha. Debbie, I had a question, if I, if I can. In, in determining that the list was appropriate, did Oneida County offer any explanation as to what they used in their analysis as to why it was appropriate? I, I think I might be better able to talk okay. to that. So. And, and, uh, from the if I'm jumping too far ahead, tell me. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. I, it's, uh, the, the, from what, I, what we gathered, both actually from the City of Utica Civil Service Commission was that they had done a comparison of the um, of, of the scopes of the examination as they are announced. So relying largely on a very brief description of what was contained within the examinations, respective examinations. And as I think Debbie pointed out, even there are even though there may be uh, it may be a rubric, if I can use that word, rubric, which is kind of, you know, uh, you know, an area of focus within an examination that may have the same or similar title. The content of that examination and content of those actual questions differs dramatically. So having only that information, I don't think that you could come up with a, a valid conclusion about the contents of an examination being similar or dissimilar. Correct. To elaborate on the point that Rich has just made, there's, a, there's an area called New York State Laws that's, that's included on the two tests. There are ten questions on that that only go to the Type A department because that chief 
is actually like a patrol officer or a patrol sergeant. So that knowledge of that kind of law is only given to them. The, uh, the law questions that are given to the sea level, our chief, are different, but the ten that are given to the chief on C are also given to the A. So therefore the A department gets 20 items on New York State laws, whereas the, the chief on the C only gets 10. Uh, reflecting so, the different duties. Re right. Reflecting the different duties. And the administrative supervision, for example, that means administering through layers of people to get something done. Right. And that's unique to the C level. It's not on the A level because the A-level chief is, doesn't do, it doesn't do it. Um, in the, the, the two an 09 exams that we gave in 209, one for a type A chief, the other for the type C, the type A department was uh, the village of New York Mills. And according to the rank survey, we conduct a rank, police rank survey of all the jurisdictions. The information that we received from uh, from Oneida County for this said they had one chief, one sergeant, and eight police officers. You're, you're that, sort of typical type A. Right? Okay, that's ten people. Right. Okay. And that's a sort of a classic example of a, of a type A department. Right. The Utica type C is as was described. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a much larger department and so the test gets at those things. There are only 90 uh, points on the type A uh, test. There are 120 on the type C. Um, there's only only 50 of the 120 points. That's less than half. That's 42 uh, percent on the type C test are found in the type A test. The test are, so while they share some things in common, the things they share in common are things like uh, re, you know preparing written material. Which I would think shows up in all uh, yeah, right. yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. And so when PERC is meeting and reviewing our items, they're, they're making decisions about which level. So if they're looking at, for example, a law question, they may say to us, no, that's a type A question. That's not a type C question. Again, this judgment being made by the PERC committee, which yes. is made up of law enforcement officials. Law enforcement officials, okay. yes. They're kind of the subject matter experts in a lot of this they're the, they're the final reviewers of all of, all of our tests at the end. Uh, we use other police officials to create, review, etc. Sure. But it, it always ends up before per, before we hold any tests, and they make the final determination as to key and appropriate. Measures. And the members on PERC are representative, I would think, broad scale of both type A and type C departments yes. throughout the state. Yes. That's true. One last question, Jerry, because as, as I'm thinking about this now, based upon your and Debbie's analysis, that I'm thinking in terms of Venn diagrams between the A and the C, I do have that, that area of overlap relating to things like preparing written material. I'm also thinking when you say the type A police chief is more similar or, or has similarity in some instances to a sergeant, I would think if you see the sergeant's exam and the type A exam, do you see the same kind of overlap there? It, 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 conceptually, yes, except you don't have that, that, that department administration. Because it, uh, because Right, you, right. Yes. the same things that are excluded from the right. C would be included sometimes in the sergeant's exam. I mean, it's, it's a continuum. Is that yes. fair? Yes. Um. Okay. Okay. Do any of the other commissioners have any questions? Um. I do have one other question. So, oh, and this, I, I, I'm not quite sure what um, significance this has on the, on the, the issue before us, but I'd like to discuss the qualifications. Because I did notice that in 2008, um, and I, I correct me if I'm wrong, the City of Utica Civil Service Commission, not Oneida County, put forward amended qualifications for the police chief. 
Is that correct, Rich? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll respond to that. There was a question concerning the, you know,